Hey guys, what's up? This is Timo Denk. In this video, I'm going to present you the Arduino RAM Viewer. This is a tool that allows you to view the content of your Arduino's RAM at specific times. This may be helpful in many situations, especially to do deep debugging, for example. The whole system you need to make use of my tool consists of a Windows PC, shown on the right hand side, and two Arduinos. You might wonder why you need two Arduinos to make this all working. One Arduino, the one shown on the, shown on the left, runs your program. It's the Arduino from which you want to view the RAM content. I'll name it the user Arduino. The other Arduino, shown in the middle, works as a transceiver between your PC and the user Arduino. This one is called the transceiver Arduino. The advantage of this configuration is that the user Arduino will only be sparsely occupied with code that is not part of its original task. Almost all RAM viewer depending tasks are outsourced to the transceiver. Most important here is the commu communication with the PC. Uh, for the user Arduino, the only additional task left is to serially transmit the individual bytes to the transceiver. It was an important specification to keep the additional code on the user Arduino as short as possible. Okay, let's jump over to the PC software, which uh, shows you the RAM. It's written in C sharp and to get started you have to select the COM port of your Arduino, in my case it's COM port 5, and press open serial port to listen for incoming data. After starting the user Arduino, you will be able to receive the memory content. Yeah, this is the first memory stamp and the second one is incoming. I'll close the serial port for now to go through all the features. As you can see, 2048 rows are quite much and it may be difficult to find the value which you are looking for. So uh, the feature hide rows without changes might be helpful. It hides all uh, rows that didn't change at any of the memory stamps which are here. Uh, so you have quite less memories, memory addresses now. For example, this value changed. I'll show you the watch list, how it works with this example here. Um, it's a Boolean variable and in binary it looks like so. This here stands for a Boolean true and this stands for false. If I now click it, the address field in the watch list will be automatically filled and I can give it a name, for example, test, and select the data type Boolean in our case. And you can see that it um, shows you the value on top here. What is cool about that? The cool thing is that if you uh, reopen the serial port now, the value changes. Okay, so that's quite cool you will be able to see um, the value of the vari variable at the last memory stamp. You can also save watch lists, clear the watch list, remove single rows by pressing the delete uh, key on the keyboard and load other watch lists which you've saved. For example this one here, which has a few more variables like a float, a integer and a long. Yeah, if I reopen it you can see how it changes. Check it out. Here the values changed and they changed back. Okay, you can also save the content of your RAM and you can load other RAM contents. You may have wondered how to get the code for the user's Arduino and the transceiver Arduino. It's quite easy, download the executable file and click this question mark in the top right corner. It will open another window. This is the code for the user's Arduino. You can place any code which you want here and every time you want to have a memory stamp on your display just call the save RAM function. Then it goes through the RAM, shifts out all the single bits and this is the code for the transceiver. It's a bit more complicated, there's a little error check built in. Yeah, just put it on your transceiver Arduino and by the way, important thing, um, the pin pins can't be changed on the transceiver Arduino. The clock pin must be pin 2 and the data pin must be pin 8. That's different to the user's Arduino. You can change those pins however you want, but keep in mind that you have to update them here down in the shift out function as well. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my tool and I'm happy about feedback. Have a nice day. Bye.